Hi, Daniel Monforti here from Regal Technologies, and today we will be continuing to build, debug, and analyze our remote control robot. Today we will be performing a boot up energy test on our robot to first capture and then replicate the signal for future testing. To capture our robot's boot up energy draw, what I've done is I've connected our current clamp here and our voltage probe here to our robot. And our current clamp is connected around the positive line from our battery to the robot and it's going to allow the power of the flow from the battery to our robot and then our voltage probe is connected directly to the connector itself in front of the switch. So that when I now press down on the switch we'll see our boot up energy draw as this spike in yellow which is going to be our amperage and then this blue line where it drops is going to be our voltage here. And what we can do is, I've already set up the scope for it, is we can now take a couple measurements. We can go into our cursor menu and we can turn those on, and this instrument allows us to use both manual and track cursors. Because it's easier and quicker, I'm going to use the track cursors. And with that, we'll see two cursors down over in the left-hand side of the screen. And they're going to be displayed on the bottom. And we can move those around with our intensity knob. But first of all, let's get a couple measurements to begin with. So I've got it already where it's set, so AX is at the bottom of our signal, or zero, and BX is up at the top, which is going to give us a amperage amplitude of 8.6 amps. And we'll use this to replicate the signal later on. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move our BX signal. I'm actually going to get our width here. So let's move this over, and then move the AX slightly, and we'll see it shoot up to the top, and that'll give us our width, which is going to be our delta X here, of 138 microseconds. Next thing that we can do is we can actually get how long it's going to take for the signal to fall. So just like before, I'm going to move BX first, and I won't be able to get this down to true zero because by the point where we're close to off the screen, the robot itself is already performing, drawing nominal power. So we won't get it to zero, but we can get it close, so we can at least get an idea of how long it takes time-wise, so that we can replicate this. And we'll also go here, and that'll give us a delta X of a 968 microseconds or so. So now we know the amplitude of our pulse, the top plateau of the pulse, along with how long it takes the fall and rise. The next thing that we're going to do, is I'm going to go into our reference here, and I'm going to save a reference so that we can replicate the signal and have something to evaluate against when we're replicating it with our electronic load. In order to recreate the pulse we saw on our oscilloscope, we're going to use the pulse menu here in our electronic load, and then we're going to do set up a couple different things. We're first going to change our range to 60 amps. We're going to set our A level, which is the top, to 8.6 amps, and then our bottom we will set this down to zero. Our slew rate for our rising edge, we're going to set to this. And then our fall rate, we will set it to two. And then our top width, we're going to set to 0.1 milliseconds. And finally, our trigger point, we're going to use the transition button on the front. So I'm going to press apply now, and then I can turn it on and when I hit transient, the electronic load is going to replicate the same current draw that our robot was performing during its boot up energy sort of power draw. I now have our electronic load set up so it's going to draw power from the battery just like how the robot was for its boot up energy. We currently see on our screen in orange the reference signal we saved before and in order to trigger our pulse to mimic our boot up energy draw, I'm going to hit the transient button on our load here and we'll now see in yellow it's going to closely replicate it in terms of its rise time and its top width and then it's not going to replicate it completely going when it falls but it's going to get a, give us a good approximation of what it's drawing current wise so that we can perform numerous tests on just bo the boot up energy cycle on our robot itself.